when an eagle and a hawk unite their forces, strengths, and visions. Imagine for a moment, an eagle and a hawk soaring together, side by side. The eagle, a symbol of strength and majesty, is renowned for its power and ability to reach great heights. Its wings are broad and strong, capable of carrying it high above the clouds, where it can survey the world below with an unerring gaze. This symbolizes the strength and vision that the prophetic streams bring. On the other side, the agile and swift hawk darts through the sky with an ease that belies its fierce determination. Its eyes are sharp, its movements precise, embodying the agility and quickness necessary in the world of prophecy. These are the unique strengths each brings to the table. The eagle with its strength and vision, the hawk with its agility and precision. But what happens when they unite? When the strength of the eagle combines with the agility of the hawk, something extraordinary occurs. They become a force to be reckoned with, a powerful combination of strength, vision, agility, and precision. This unity, this collaboration, is not just about the sum of their individual strengths. It is about the creation of something new, something greater than the sum of its parts. In the realm of the prophetic, this unity is not only desirable, it is essential. Different prophetic streams, like the eagle and hawk, each have their unique strengths. But when they come together, when they unite their forces, they can achieve more than they ever could alone. They can reach new heights, see further, move faster, and strike with greater precision. This unity, this collaboration, is a powerful model for all spiritual seekers. It is a call to action, a call to unite our strengths, our visions, our forces, for the greater good. It is a call to recognize that we are stronger together, that our differences are not weaknesses, but strengths that can enrich and empower us. The unity of the eagle and the hawk serves as a compelling model for all spiritual seekers. Imagine a world that has been restored, a world that is on the brink of a new beginning. It's a world where past mistakes are not just forgiven, but forgotten, replaced with newfound wisdom and experience. This is the essence of restoration, the journey of rebuilding, of taking what was broken and making it whole again, of taking what was lost and finding it anew. Now let's shift our focus to the prophetic movement, a spiritual wave that's all about restoration and new beginnings. It's about rising from the ashes, just like a phoenix, and starting anew with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. It's about casting off the old and embracing the new, about letting go of the past and looking forward to the future with hope and anticipation. But here's the thing, restoration and new beginnings aren't easy. They require courage, resilience, and above all, faith. And this is where the fear of the Lord comes into play. It's not about being scared or intimidated. No, the fear of the Lord is about acknowledging His infinite wisdom and power and recognizing our own limitations. It's about humbling ourselves before Him and trusting in His guidance and provision. This fear of the Lord, it's the foundation for wisdom and holiness. It's what keeps us grounded, what keeps us humble. It's what inspires us to strive for righteousness, to live in accordance with His will. It's what gives us the strength to face our fears, to overcome our challenges, and to embrace the new beginnings that come our way. Restoration and new beginnings, they're more than just themes within the prophetic movement. They're the very heartbeat of it. They're the driving force behind its growth and expansion, its unity and collaboration, its visions and revelations. They're the catalyst for change, for transformation, for renewal. Restoration and new beginnings are not just concepts, they are powerful forces that can transform lives. They're the keys to unlocking a future filled with hope, joy, and fulfillment. They're the stepping stones to a world that's been restored, a world that's on the brink of a new beginning. Picture an eagle soaring high above, its eyes covered with protective goggles. What does it symbolize to you? This is more than just a metaphorical image. It is a vision that carries profound meaning. In the grand scheme of spiritual encounters, the eagle is often seen as a symbol of strength, power, and freedom. Its ability to fly at incredible heights is a testament to its strength and resilience. But here, the eagle is not just flying high. It is doing so with protective goggles which adds a new layer of meaning to this vision. One might wonder, why does the eagle need goggles? Well, the goggles represent the need for protection in times of uncertainty and spiritual elevation. Just as the eagle uses its goggles to protect its eyes from the harsh sunlight, so must prophets protect their spiritual vision. It is a reminder that even the strongest and most powerful among us need protection and guidance. This vision of the eagle with protective goggles is a call to trust in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, 
especially in times of uncertainty. It's about walking by faith, not by sight. It's about rising above the clouds of doubt and fear and soaring high in the realms of faith and trust. In the spiritual journey, there will be times of uncertainty, times when the path ahead seems unclear. But just like the eagle, prophets are called to trust in their guidance, to put on their protective goggles and continue to soar. They're called to rise above the uncertainties of life and keep their focus on the divine guidance that leads them. So, the next time you find yourself in a moment of uncertainty, remember the vision of the eagle with protective goggles. Remember that even in the midst of uncertainty, you have the strength to soar high and the wisdom to protect your vision. In times of uncertainty, we, like the eagle, must trust in our guidance and continue to soar. What if the key to spiritual growth is not in isolation, but in unity and collaboration? Imagine a world where we recognize our common spiritual quests, where the journey to wisdom and holiness is not a solitary endeavor, but a shared experience. This is the power of unity and collaboration. In the realm of spirituality, where the paths are myriad and the destinations diverse, unity and collaboration are like the strong wings of the eagle and the agile flight of the hawk. When we think about spiritual growth, we often visualize a lone individual on a mountaintop seeking enlightenment in solitude. But let's shift this perspective. Think of an eagle and a hawk soaring together, each with its unique strengths, yet united in their flight. The eagle, with its strength and vision, symbolizes the power of unity. The hawk, with its agility and precision, represents the benefits of collaboration. Together, they paint a picture of spiritual transformation that is not achieved in isolation but in unity and collaboration. The power of unity lies in its ability to bring together diverse elements and forge them into a cohesive whole. It's about acknowledging our differences, yet realizing that we are all part of the same spiritual tapestry. It's about respecting each other's unique spiritual journeys, yet understanding that we are all striving for the same ultimate goal, wisdom and holiness. On the other hand, collaboration is about leveraging our unique strengths and abilities to achieve a common goal. It's about learning from each other, supporting each other, and growing together. Just like the eagle and the hawk, each of us has unique gifts and talents. When we collaborate, we magnify these gifts, and our collective spiritual journey becomes more enriching and fulfilling. In the grand scheme of spiritual growth, unity and collaboration are not just about working together. They are about growing together. They are about recognizing that our spiritual journeys are interconnected and that we can achieve more, learn more, and grow more when we walk together. So let us embrace the power of unity and collaboration and let us soar together on our spiritual journeys. Unity and collaboration are not just about working together. They are about growing together. What can we learn from the unity of the eagle and the hawk, from the theme of restoration and new beginnings, and from the vision of the eagle with protective goggles? The visions and revelations we've explored bring to light some profound insights. The unity of the eagle and the hawk symbolizes the synergy of strength and agility, the power that arises when different streams of wisdom unite. This unity is not just a virtue, it's an imperative. It calls us to collaborate, to work together in harmony, and to appreciate the unique strengths each one brings to the table. The theme of restoration and new beginnings reminds us of the cyclical nature of life and spiritual growth. It encourages us to embrace change, to let go of the old, and to welcome the new with open arms. It's about rising from the ashes, starting afresh and growing stronger with each new day. The power of restoration is not just about recovering what was lost, but also about discovering new horizons, new possibilities. Next, the vision of the eagle with protective goggles signifies the importance of faith and trust, especially in times of uncertainty and spiritual elevation. Just like the eagle, we need to trust in our ability to soar, to navigate the winds of change, and to rise above the clouds of doubt. The protective goggles symbolize the need for clear vision, the ability to see beyond the immediate, and the courage to face the unknown. These visions and revelations also underscore the significance of the fear of the Lord as a foundation for wisdom and holiness. This fear is not about dread or terror, but about awe, reverence, and respect. It's about recognizing the divine, honoring the sacred, and living in alignment with spiritual principles. In essence, these visions and revelations are not just spiritual metaphors. They are life lessons, 
guiding principles that can illuminate our path in this journey of life and spiritual growth. These visions and revelations serve as a guide, illuminating our path as we continue our spiritual journey.